Hello everybody, it's Jenny here. Um, I hope everybody's keeping well. Um, in today's video, I thought I'd share with you some of these um, little slow stitched cottages that I made um, earlier in the year. And I've gone back into making some smaller versions. So um, basically, again, it's just using up your little bits of leftover fabrics. Um, on the back of this one, um, it's just some linen that I've cut and then uh, use that as the backing and then covered it with some um, other material. I've done a green one obviously in this one and then created the little cottage. Um, so the stitch on here is like um, various stitches. We've got lots of little French knots which represent the flowers, uh, little um, straight stitches, uh, blanket stitch, uh, more French knots and then um, some little stitches just round the background and things and then a little love heart as well because a little fairy cottage is always full of love and welcoming welcoming to those who um connect with the fairies or want to make friends with the fairies so that's the first one um and here obviously just as well just i've added a bit of felt for the door uh, again some blanket stitch and uh, fly stitch as well so that was that one um then i made a christmassy one so a little uh, fairy cottage at Christmas. So again, similar idea, lots of French knots, and then I've used up, cut out like shapes to represent the trees and then stitched over them. And then lots of sparkle with the uh, glittery threads as well. And then a uh, little pathway here, cut out some little flowers and stitched over those. Uh, bits of trimming, um, which I've cut to create uh, like the little um, representation of trees and bushes. And then um, obviously loads again, more French knots and that's representing the snow. So that's that one. So these are sort of, um, I made like um, four of these in this size and there's another little one. And then on here, it's a bit of fabric and I've left it like fraying as well. So it's, you know, representing for me the like the little magical fairy houses, you know, so, um, you know, full of magic and lots of um, glitter, uh, full of flowers, you know, obviously the connection with nature as well, uh, with the little trees um, here, which is Lazy Day, uh, which is, yeah, um, Lazy Daisy Stitch, I think I've done there. And again, created some more little flowers there. Uh, blanket stitch on here. And then, you know, like straight stitches as well, representing the grasses and the little felt door and the little windows are made of felt on this one as well. And again, that's just on a piece of linen that I had, I've cut, just, you know, they're not, um, again, like I said, I don't tend to measure digit by eye, but this is six by, well, just over, just under six by four and a half, that one. So that's another little one. And then this one, again. Same idea, bit of linen, and then cutting out the, the fabrics, like a plique, I think you'd call that, and then I've stitched over it, and that's just like representing the trees again. Uh, a bit of couching in this one, uh, little flowers that I've cut out of other fabrics and then stitched over. Lots of little French knots, some couching in there, uh, a little watering can here for the fairies, you know, watering the flowers, and that's more couching, and that's a bit of wool, and then I've stitched over that as well. So that's another one. And then this week, um, I've got back into it, but I'm making smaller ones. So this is a little pink fairy cottage. Lots of uh, stitch on there representing the trees, a bit of um, glittery fabrics then for the sparkle, little felt door, little bits of felt, and then more stitching. And these are about, um, I think, I, I will measure it actually, about, so it's about th just over three and a quarter by three and a quarter inches. That's, that's that one. And then I'm just finishing off this little yellow one. So a little yellow sunshine fairy cottage. Little stitches again, little windows cut out some felt. I've got uh, loads of French knots. And then... Um, yeah, and then these little stitches here is just representation of like brickwork. Um, 
and then a blanket stitch around the windows, a fly stitch in there, and then um, I stitched some little flowers as well. And that's that one. All I've got to do on there is put my little yellow hamster stitch just on yet. A little yellow heart to go on the roof there. That's that one. And then this is the little blue one. Now I did show this on my Instagram page, but I did add it a few more little bits. So I put a bit more silver around there, which I've just um, weaved in and out of the uh, winning stitch that was around the roof. Some blue stars, the moon, um, little blue heart again, little uh, straight stitches. And this is called the little blue fairy cottage. So we've got a pink one, blue one and a yellow one. So this is, I think, what I'm thinking in my head is um, like the rainbow, the rainbow. And then obviously which colour you're drawn to is the colour you need at this time. So like pink for self-love, um, looking after oneself, care. Um, the blue one is like a time of um, reflection. So you, you, you pop in there and just sit down and sort of be a bow, nice, warm, cosy uh, fire, little fairy house. Um, you know, making a wish upon the stars as well. And then um, in the yellow one, it's like a sunshiny one. So nice and bright and colourful, uplifting, positivity, and lots of sunny energy in this one. So um, the next one I'm going to do of these is the orange one. But what I thought I'd do is just show you um, how to start one of these sort of larger ones. So, like on these ones I've used, that's like again, leftover um, curtain lining. I think this has got this batting on that one. And then this one again is a bit of batting. So that's those ones, don't want to lose that. Um, so for this, for these ones, I think, I've, like I said, I've just used some uh, linen and then uh, as the backing and then put a layer of fabric over and then built up the little fairy house. But on here, on this one here, I've got some batting as well. So I've cut some batting out. I've laid a piece of fabric over it. Like I say, you, you don't have to do this. Sometimes I do that, just put a, another layer of fabric down. And then I um, got some blues here because it's going to be like a little blue fairy cottage. So just some blue fabric. just so that's the background and then I've got some of this fabric here which is some like linen I've got from my mum when she's having a clear out which I spoke about before so for this we'll just cut the um, little shape out so I've got more blues on it so I'll go for this one here so you just cut out your shape and then tend to round off these little bits here at the sides. That doesn't have to be perfect. So that's a little house. In fact, I'm going to make that a bit smaller. That's quite big, isn't it, that one? I'll make that a bit smaller, actually. I'll just fold it in half. I'm just going to make it a bit smaller. So that's our little, um, so that's little house. And then I have found some other blues, which this one's nice for the roof. Again, these are like leftover bits of fabric. Just gonna cut it straight, going 
to it. These scissors here, they're very well worn, as you can see. <laughs> then that goes on there. Now, as I'm going along, things could change. So, I'm just probably going to take that bit off. So I've left like a bit of a gap there. It's about, because I'm moving it a bit more central. Because I'll be stitching down there, sewing down there. It's a bit more central in the middle. There's our little roof. But I might just trim up a little bit because it's so. Uh, that's the basis our basic house um, and then I'll get some felt so these little bits of felt that I picked up um, which I've had for a while so they're just like small pieces of felt so I'm just put this here a little bit and if you want to draw out the shape of the door you can but I just tend to just um, you know go straight in there we go fairy door and then some windows <coughs> We'll have little, um, try and do that shape again if I can. Those out. So that's the door and the windows. And then the next part I do is I just do like a little stitch around it all just to secure it. So um, that could be a little straight stitch. Um, let's have a look. A little running stitch if you want to. One. 
Actually, I've just spotted this one here on this bit of fabric. Um, let's have a look. See if I can cut this out. If it'll work, but that looks like a little bit of a hedge there. That should look there. So I've got another bit there. See, that could go like that. And then I've got, just seen it, and it's still in this fabric, got a, like a blue flower. So I'll just cut that out. I might not use this yet, but I'll just cut it out and then it's ready. And I'll just see how we go. I mean, for these, it's about using, you know, just being really, you know, imaginative and creative. With the bits, bits and pieces that you've got and creating a uh, little magical fairy house. Oh, I don't think I like this. Hold on. I don't know I go on the roof. Actually, I might could have changed the colour of that door. Um, let's have a look. So, on here, let's just see here. That's quite nice. That's nice, actually. We'll use this bit. Look. Door. So it's just slowly building up um, the little house. So I've got those there now, but I might change my mind. So I'll see how we go. And that, I'm not sure about that yet. I don't know, I'll leave it there anyway. Um, what else have we got here? So, um, let's see. Right, I think what I'll do, I'll just stitch that down. Right, just get the needle. Um, what's this right here? I'll use this one. If you want to, you can pin that down. Great, go into a knot. Right, start with start again. Just 
just going to go with just one I mean, you can pin it down if you want to. Um, but I'll just go do one in a stitch. That's what I've done. Yep. It'll be clearer actually, so I've got rid of, um, well, not got rid of, but I've donated a lot of my stuff. Things that I don't do uh, or use. I've had a big box of um, deco patch paper, just loads of it, but just look at it and think, am I going to use that? It's been sat there for how long? So I've just donated it. So at the moment, it's having a big um, clear out. So looking to downsize property. Um, what was I was going to say, oh yeah, I've done now, I have now sewn um, the little square patches. I've now got 35 of them. And my next job for that is to um, actually get them stitched on to the backing. And then I can share that with you. A bit last week, I think I just spent the day getting the rest of them done. I want to keep a tidier workspace as well. My little missions. As you can see, it's not like, you know, um, perfect, but that's absolutely fine. Thinking, do I should I go down now or leave that? I might leave that now actually. I'm not gonna bother going down that line. Or am I? No, I think it'd be right actually. Right. Just do that then. Sorry, I keep shaking my camera. There we go. So the next part is we've got our little windows and our little door. And then we'll sew them on. You have different shaped windows. Uh, like on this one here, I've got round ones, round windows. And these are more like, um, I don't come, like, you know, more pyramid shaped on there. And that's like an arch type of window. And there's only got one window in there. You can add little bits as well, like on here, when we get to sew it, like, so I'll put a little lantern on here and a little candle in that one. And then I showed you the watering can, which was on there, little watering can. And a little bird, actually, as well. A little bird on the roof on that one. And in that roof, actually, I put a little bit of filling. So that's that one there. And then in here, little plant pots as well, so stitched little plant pots just there. Okay. 
stamps. So now, uh, what I do here then, I just do a very basic crisscross stitch. Cross stitch, you know, like, not cross stitch, what's it called? One stitch. 